right, good morning, everyone. Now that winter is here, it is definitely harder to get out of bed and it's harder to leave because it is so cold. However, to get me excited, I do start my mornings off by reading. Then around 6.30, I get out of bed and I make my bed. I truly do think that your physical space is a representation of your mental space. And so the more organized it is, the easier it is to just do your daily things that you have to do. From there, I go ahead and brush my hair, do my hair, and then I head straight to the bathroom. I do do morning stretches if I need to, but that's just depending on how I feel. Once I'm in the bathroom, I go ahead and brush my teeth, and then I wash my face, and then do my skincare routine. Good morning, it is currently 6.45 ish and I'm being kind of quiet because my roommate's sleeping so I just don't want to be loud because I talk really loud. But I just wanted to share my skincare routine in the morning so I just use this as my face wash, a retinol for my acne. So this is pretty much just like this. And last but not least, I just use sunscreen. So I really like this one because it's green and what that does, it counters the redness on my skin and it smells really good. And it doesn't leave a white cast, which I really like. Last but not least, I just go in with some deodorant. <laughs> Once I am done with the bathroom, I will go back into my room and prep my desk for journaling. When it comes to journaling, I love having my classical playlist on, so that is what you see me doing here. And then from there, I love having my room smell very calm as well, so I will get my diffuser set up. Once everything is set up, I go ahead and start journaling. I try to do about 30 minutes every day, but it will just vary depending on how much thoughts I have to dump or not dump. And doing this first thing in the morning has completely changed my day in terms of having a good day. When I don't journal, it keeps me more chaotic throughout the day, which is something that I don't enjoy. And then something new that I've incorporated is meditation. And truly, both of these together have really allowed me to take control of my day more. So something that I do regardless of whether or not I work from home or not is I dress up because when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you look good. And it makes you just want to be more productive. At least that's what works for me. And so I do love dressing up regardless. Alrighty, once I am done, I will make my way into the kitchen. From there, I will go ahead and put away the dishes if there were any from last night and then I will refill my water. After, I will go ahead and make my honey lemon water. I have been drinking this for the last month and I have noticed a couple of changes such as my digestion has improved, detoxifies all the things that are going on in my body and the last thing is I don't drink any caffeine and so I just notice a shift in my energy because of all the natural remedies going on. Once I am done making my honey lemon water, I will go ahead and bring that back into my room and then start work. Now, I want to say that I start work at a different time every day depending on what is needed. If I have meetings earlier, I will clock on earlier and if I have a more open schedule in the morning, I will start my work a little bit later. But typically by 8, I am logged on. All right, so I wanted to pop in and give my thoughts on morning routines a little bit. 
I just wanted to say that truly your morning routine is for you and just because I start mine at 6 does not mean that you're any less or any more because you start yours at like 5.30 or 8. It really comes down to understanding your body and your needs and catering to it just because I think that is really the whole purpose of a morning routine and it looks different for me in the summer, in the winter and I do try really hard to listen to my body. More than anything as well, it's taken me years to get to this point. It wasn't something that I like watched a couple YouTube videos and was like, let me do this and then fell in love with it, you know? It took me waking up between like five to seven and saying that like six is my ideal time and also just not being too hard on yourself. I think it is okay to switch up and if one morning you don't feel like journaling or meditating, there's nothing wrong with that and so listen to your body, listen to your needs and don't compare yourself to anyone else. So yeah, just wanted to say that I will see you in my next video.